We've come to Shanghai to show you the future of clinical and translational medicine. It's another progress report. Professor Marco Varga, can you talk a little bit about what you see in the future going forward? The diagnostic component into uh, healthcare treatment, I think, is key. Antibody-based assays, very important, used for all sorts of work around the world for decades. But the caveat there is that you don't really exactly know what you measure, because you have an affinity, and you don't really know what that affinity is. So if you read through the manual of an ELISA, you will see that you measure a quantity of antigen and antigen-like compounds in this, in this assay. And um, that is kind of undefined to me. So the patient wants more, governments wants more. So now we are going from a broad, let's say, if you look to lung cancer where I've been active, what is happening right now, it's a development where you try to identify patient groups, so phenotypes we call it. And these will then be specifically responding to a certain given drug. Now, how do you know that? How do you know from all of these patients that you are let's say phenotype number five. Well, you need a, a small test where you have a drop of blood and you actually can then predict that yes, you should have drug number five. So this is the link that you can see. It's happening, uh, like for instance now in Asia, also um, lung cancer drugs were uh, introduced in uh, uh, last year, uh, end of last year, personalized medicine for cancer patients and that is happening also in China now. So. I think it's, a, it's the future where it's going, and I think there's a lot of potential both for science, but above all, I would say the patient would benefit mostly. I also see here borders being uh, less dramatic. Uh, I see much more collaborative efforts uh, throughout many different disciplines. And I mean, looking to the side of informatics and really try to understand what is the biology telling you? So what should you do? Right now, we are at the stage where the demands from patients are much, much higher than we actually can manage. So in this way, I feel that the disease pathology, drug development, and the clinical area, the three of them together, is somehow linking. And this is what we're trying to maximize on. So how do we get all this data, all the information we generate in experiments to be useful uh, going forward? Discover more ideas and innovations. Visit thermoscientific.com.